Hi everybody, it's Susan. I was making a video until I was interrupted and then I had to start a new one. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you these faux rosettes that I've been making. Um, I'm going to try and get as close as I can, but the more I zoom up, I feel like I get blurry with this lens. Anyway, um, I have seen a video by Kathy Orda and she was suggesting using the Cricut cartridge which I have used and it came out great and but it's a little quicker using this punch that I have um, I have it for about two years now and never even used it until recently I've been making these really really pretty um, very small I'm calling them the paper faux rosettes and uh, well maybe paper faux, gold faux, something to that effect and the reason for that is is that I used a very heavy cardstock. I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, I'm going to put it down here see if I can zoom up on that. Okay. Um, it's, it's black cardstock. They came out really pretty because what I had done was is I painted these gold. Okay. And some of them I had even used um, an iridescent medium on. Um, for example, a glimmer mist, but I had actually gotten something really nice in the uh, craft store instead of using the glimmer mist, and this is terribly blurry, so I have to go further back. Um, okay, shutting that light off, hoping it helps. Um, anyway, these, these came out really very pretty. The black cardstock is really great if you're going to use them um, for like a vintage style. I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, they're really stiff. I mean, you can hear them. And they make an absolutely beautiful uh, presentation as well. Um, I, I did do them with some other color. This is just white, heavy cardstock. And I used um, four punch outs of those little daisies and stacked them together. Very simple. You can see Kathy Orta's video on that. Um, and I came up with these. This was uh, sprayed with a vanilla bean uh, glimmer mist and then was um, painted with some gold paint and um, then put some um, iridescent paint on top of uh, the flower which gave it a really really vintage look. It's so pretty. Um, Here's one that I just painted, and uh, this is a black one. This is gorgeous. I am currently working on a project, ladies. I can't wait for you to see it. It's absolutely beautiful, and this one is actually going to be hanging up in my house. So you're going to get a full, um, a full view of what I'm working on. So anyway, I just wanted to share these flowers with you. Give them a try. They're really very pretty. Look at this lolly flower I made. I went to um, Joanne's craft store yesterday and was able to get a different material that worked a lot better for me. I have no idea what this was called. I just went over started touching everything. What do I have? What I don't have? And this felt like something I didn't have and this came out really pretty and I got in these like gold see-through leaves. Very pretty. And also, if you're just noticing, like, what I have these flowers displayed on, I'm actually keeping this all in a, in a box. And this box is from a box of Godiva chocolates that someone sent to me. I saved the box thinking that, you know, I can, um, I can alter it, which I started to do that. Um, I'm using one hand. It's, um, he's a K and Company paper on this one uh, with some stickles on the top. And I had used the, um... Uh, the Mod Podge. So it's really quite pretty. I have not done the inside just yet and I have not done the bottom piece. Okay, have a great day. 